Hello guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back on 40.com with another video and today we're taking a look at the very divisive uh, <laughs> Manchester City celebration kit. Essentially, Nike are ending their stay in Manchester City after, is it seven years now? Six years? Six or seven, yeah. Six, seven years uh, and they put together this <laughs> very hey. interesting celebration kit, mainly of away kits, which I found interesting. And today we're going to take a closer look at that. Now, I've got a feeling Phil's going to like this more than I do for some reason. I don't know, I think I've seen some tweets about it knocking about. But for me, I'll offer a Manchester, a lifelong Manchester City fan's honest opinion um, is what is going on. <laughs> like, I feel like they could have done this so much better. There are so many things that bug me about this. So don't forget, by the way, if you are into footy.com, make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our video where we discuss Pew and what you can expect from them, which won't be this. It'll be very different. But anyway, that's quick, quick plug for that video there. Yep. But I'm going to pass it over to Phil because I want Phil's opinions on this very interesting um, mashup of a kit. Go yeah, on. I'm actually going to surprise you and I say I don't like this kit. Oh, I thought you liked um, it based on your tweets. Or something. No, I mean, the one thing about it, which... Okay, let's talk about the positives. There's only a few positives I can see. <laughs> it's um, a football shirt. It's, one. <laughs> it's a football shirt. Yeah, I think... It's a nice, if you liked Nike's kits for, for City over the years, and particularly their away kits, because obviously they're some, some of the bright, bold kits. If you like those kits, this is like a nice yeah. summary of that. And it, and it is a nice one because it, in that sense, it does include pretty much all the most notable away kits, like, as you say. Yeah, but I think some of them weren't liked. That was the thing. That, like, well, that's the it? thing. A lot of them weren't liked. We, we look at the you see that orange purple one. Which yeah, that was hated. The, the double fact. decker kit. Yeah, university. I think slated. You've got the the luminous green kit, which as far as I know didn't didn't have two. I mean, obviously there's well, the there link was a, like be, a song for a city fan who said we're Man City, we go in the dark. Which yeah, quite quite funny, you know. Yeah, I and mean, it, it, I know it loosely referenced, you know, the the kind of the division two. Yeah, shirt. but. Yeah, as a as a whole, when it comes together, it's obviously really hard to sort of see as as a as a single single Someone, piece. Someone um, pointed out to me, on, uh, yep. I think it was to you as well, actually, in terms of like it's like the um, they've got a lot of uh, you know diagonal lines yeah. going, and they don't really line up, which is a True. bit confusing. You feel True. like things. It, Essentially, those lines that go around from this year's away kit there, they feel like they could have gone down and joined that kind of mm. sash in the bottom left corner of the kit sure. and almost made like an X kind of pattern mm. across the middle mm. of it. And that would at least made it look a little bit more symmetrical. That would be um, nice, actually, because as you say, there's so many angles. I mean, just for example, where you've got this season's away kit, how they've, they've rotated that. But the way that joins in, you know, to the to the what's underneath there, kind of just here, yeah. it's different to there. So it, it looks it looks almost like as you say, that there's not really a nice way that it sits. Even on the long sleeve version, which, you know, I always like a long sleeve kit. Um, even on that, you know, it doesn't redeem it. It must be said, it's helped by John Stones looking great in it. Because John Stones is a handsome fella. He, look, he looks like a picky blinder, but he, can, he suits pretty much anything. <laughs> Some people just look like good in kit, yeah. especially when you're a six foot yeah. four athlete, you know, he looks, yeah. he's a good looking fella. But even he, look, he can't, can't. No, it looks better on him. It looks like, it looks like an experimental goalkeeper kit. It's yeah. a bit like George A. Campus has with loads yeah. of random patterns everywhere. Um, more than it does a, I guess it's not an outfield kit anyway, it's just a special sure, one. Sure. Especially with the long sleeves there, which kind it of. It does. I think, I think that's the thing. Thing, you know if, if you're gonna a mashup kit like this and obviously we've seen other mashup kits for Barca for Inter um, at the end of the day I think ultimately this this points to the fact that there just aren't enough years to sort of play with yeah. here and I think that's the thing you know it feels very forced from Nike kind of all the stuff which you don't like from them and I guess you know I think I would imagine a lot of City fans this kind of sums up what hasn't been good about their their time with them so you know there I mean, has been some alright night shirts like there have there has there been have. some nice ones and I think it's actually, it's near, the, near the start of the partnership absolutely got a bit, near the start yeah. yeah like there were some Nike ones which were really clean and quite I really liked the one liked. I think they're referencing it there in the bottom corner the, the blue and uh, kind of navy stripe one they had I like that yeah yeah that was alright with the white and then the blue yeah that was a classy one like, yeah. like, a stri- like a, the vertical sash yes one. yeah I like that one that was okay uh, and yeah it's interesting though that they reference essentially all the away kits. They have pretty much. I feel like they could have done more. I know the the home kits were quite safe in general, but I feel like they still could have done more with that. And yeah. I think that would have gone a long way to you know make it a bit more popular if mm. it had maybe some like essentially a home dominance with mm. some subtle hints at some of the more popular away kits. Yeah. Like that would have helped a bit. Like for example, the even though it's not a very nice shirt, the luminous, you know, the luminous one was mm-hmm. relatively popular because of the meme around it. Yep. All. So yep. if you'd gone something with the home kit with somehow mm. subtle hints of that, it could have been well. Yeah. But it, I think that's the thing with City. Obviously, the 
the defining feature of the shirt is the colour itself, is the blue. Yeah. And I think because it's not kind of a pattern necessarily, so like your Inters or your Barca's. Yeah, it's hard, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I mean, it, but having said that, I think you're right. That would have been a much more uh, kind of popular, at least. Popular shirt, surely yeah. that's the only reason this exists, to try and sell. Indeed. Like, it exists just and to we, make money. We have to just mention the sponsor. <laughs> you, are you, that must have drove you mad when I first saw that. unbelievable. Like, the, the problem... Well, I mean, Random I, I don't need to there, tell you, do I? Yeah, the D is lot on most like of the press photos. It's completely lost. Um, you know, the, the the way that they've had to cut out the, the sash. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need to tell you why that doesn't look good. It just makes um, it, it's a mess, isn't it? Someone pointed out the collar as well, and I haven't seen this in the flesh, but it looks very wide. And, very um, wide, yeah. And, you On know, Phil Foden, it looks very, very low. Yes, like, I mean, that look at that. Just, oh, we've talked a lot about how bad. we don't like drop collars, but that's almost Foden's, the opposite thing where it's too wide. Yeah, Foden's quite slender. He's he a small lad, yeah. but like, that is not, he's still bigger than most people because he's a footballer, so he'll be broader than yeah. most people. They've like, tried to hide it by putting some shirts underneath. And yeah, some the, shirts they see to <laughs> <laughs> Roy does not look happy in those photos. And the random, and you, it shows how messed up this kit is that the random uh, shirt under that the boy is wearing is just kind of locks in color wise because it's just <laughs> any color, it doesn't matter, it suits the, what he's wearing. Uh, yeah, I think that the long sleeve one looks a bit better than the short sleeve one, but in general, that it's just yeah. it's everything that's wrong with mashup kits in terms of it's there for yeah. the sake of it. It is, and because I think the, you know mashup kits have basically been a, a had a had a revolution this year. There's been some good ones, some bad ones. Yeah, this one's in the bad category for sure. Good ones for you. Well, I really liked. Uh, I think both Inters and Barca's had something about them. Yeah, because, I thought they were, they were classy. Yeah, because the colours are consistent. I thought Wolfsburg's um, was quite fun. Werder Bremen? Sorry, that's Sorry that's to go to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with the, uh, with the big exactly. yellow, yellow, green and... And uh, you know what was, was nice about that one? That was actually kind of stitched together the panels. So yeah. I think that was just really interesting. But you know, this one wasn't great. I think this one reminds you of... Uh, Nike did one with Arsenal when they left Arsenal. And this is kind of a bit like that, where it's just a bit too... A bit too random, a bit too kind of garish. So, yeah. some people like this, you know. So that says, oh, I guess that's it. On some people, I roundly slated this on Twitter. And some people going, I like <laughs> I it. And I'm like, well, fair enough. And I guess it does appeal to some people because um, some yep. people have no taste. Though. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, if you like it, let us know in the comments below. And as we were saying, go check out our, our deep, in depth analysis of what City fans mm. can expect from the Puma partnership, which is coming up uh, as of next season, which I'm looking forward to personally because mm. I got a bit bored of Nike as a City fan. Like, I love the Umbro days, everyone did. Even though I think that was slightly nostalgic in. So I think there's, there was some mm. you know, ones there. But Puma should be different at very least. And it's not Puma, it's Puma because I'm English. <laughs> Put it out there. Anyway, guys, my name is Stephen. This is Phil. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you soon.